Garutara Sangaratling Avasarai, Venerable Theros, Ministers, Members of Parliament, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, we warmly welcome you to the Business Today Top 30, 2016-2017, and Business Today Passionate. I am Udeshi Amra Singha from BT Options. Venerable Galapodanani Sratero, Chief Incumbent of the Ganga Ramya Temple, we are blessed by your presence here today. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the Business Today Top Corporate Ranking in Sri Lanka and also signifies the introduction of the new segment, Business Today Passionate, that recognizes individuals who are pioneers and trailblazers. They have transformed their respective industries and have taken the risk to venture out to the international market, bringing great pride to the motherland. We take pleasure in informing you that the event ceremony is being shown live on PO TV, Channel 20, and PO TV Facebook. You can also watch on TST TV and Rewind TV during the next two days. Our pioneering magazine, Explore Sri Lanka, completed 30 years. Having started in 1987, it is the only complimentary monthly magazine in the world to survive this long. Mathi K. Parthipan started as a sales officer of the publication. And after the closure of the casinos, Explore Sri Lanka was taken over by Mathi K. Parthipan and the staff in 1991. Thus, the magazine became completely self-funded and independent, without any outside investment, due to our hard work and passion. BT Options is owned, owned and shares are held by BT Options staff. Many clients who have been with us since our inception, who are in the audience today, will remember the manner in which we worked and formed and maintained our relationships. Throughout the 30 years, Explore Sri Lanka has, with great determination and passion, promoted the country to the world. It is upon the success of our pioneering magazine that we were able to introduce new publications and also venture into other businesses. We always work with everyone. If you look at this event today, we invite everyone, regardless of their position in politics, public sector or private sector. Whether they have been in high and influential positions and no longer are, or vice versa, does not matter to us. We will continue to show them the same respect. Business Today was the first magazine in the world to introduce syndication with Harvard Business Review. We also have exclusive syndication with Financial Times. Due to our long-standing and transparent relationship, HBR and FT have given us the free hand, and there are no restrictions. In 2001, Business Today was listed in the book Competitive Intelligence as a source of competitive intelligence information in the global environment, along with the CIA, FBI, The Economist, The Wall Street Journal, and the European Business Review, to name but a few. We are honored to have been mentioned in this book and to be accepted among the global leaders in this sphere. After a meeting, brief meeting with Lord Heseltine in Dubai, he flew his team in, to Sri Lanka in 2008 to visit BT Options, and they were interested in entering a joint venture with BT Options. However, due to the global economic downturn, it did not materialize. But such international recognition for the magazine has driven us forward to achieve more. Business Today Top Corporate Ranking was started 20 years ago and was conceptualized by Dinesh Virakodi. It is the first recognition of its kind for public listed companies in Sri Lanka. At first, we took this as a fun exercise without realizing its significance and importance. Later, Keith Bernard and Shiron Gunaratna also become, became part of the process. We continued every year amidst negative vibes that came our way. Although they are no longer part of the process due to their commitments in public listed companies, we acknowledge their contribution from the inception of the awards, and we continue to seek their advice and assistance. We must also thank Mr. Suren Rajkari of KPMG Sri Lanka for his continuous participation in the process. 
At the time that we held our first Business Today Awards ceremony, we could not afford to have a backdrop or even offer a glass of water to our guests. But we did not accept any sponsorships. Year on year, we held the awards and the Business Today top corporate selection and the ceremony grew. In 1997, it was the Business Today top 10. Today, we have grown to select the top 30 corporates. The chief guest of the Business Today Awards has been the head of state or government. Many companies that are in the Business Today Top 30 are not advertisers. Companies cannot apply or pay to be selected. The ranking is purely based on their published financial information. Having said that, we welcome all to advertise with us because we operate on advertising revenue only and it would serve well during trying situations. While our, while our financial commitments to the awards ceremony is very high, we have never taken sponsorships in any form. All payments are made by us. Style, Lova Venaskala Haki Kanta Vobai, the revolutionary Singhala magazine for women that was started in the 1990s, was way ahead of its time. Ms. Onara Gunawadana and Ms. Nilamani Jayawadana, who are recognized in the business today passionate, will remember how we did our interviews and stories. Ms. Otara Gunawadana and Ms. Nilamani Jayawadana were featured on the covers as well. Ms. Otara Gunawadana had her own fashion page and some advised her against being featured in a singular magazine, but she was bold enough to go forward. Style magazine had to be stopped due to poor advertising response. Yet, if we are to start the magazine again, it would be high risk to have the same thought-provoking editorial content. We have been publishing Serendip, the in-flight magazine of Sri Lankan Airlines since March 2010 as a monthly publication. This was a result of our struggle to bring the production and printing to Sri Lanka since the 1980s. We have been making a monthly payment to the airline since we started the production and printing of the magazine. We do not receive any payment or airline tickets from Sri Lankan. We wish to thank Mr. Ajit Dias, Chairman, and Mr. Suren Ratwatha, CEO, for their continuous support and ensuring the success of the magazine. Response for Serendib can be seen globally as well as within Sri Lanka. Our two international titles are Doma Sri Lanka and Time Out Sri Lanka. We have been using Apple since 1988, started reselling in the 1990s, and opened BT store in the early 2000s. Being in the Apple business is not a prestige for us, as our publications are our main segment, as evident from our event today as well. We are happy that many others have entered the Apple business in Sri Lanka. In the future, we might be forced to become unauthorized Apple resellers, but we will be able to provide stronger and better support and services together with better pricing. At BT Store, we recently introduced audiobooks of international bestsellers. There is much to learn from global figures, and their stories are inspiring. Finding My Virginity, the new autobiography by Sir Richard Branson, also speaks about virgin money and is a must listen for all Sri Lankan bankers. Option B by Sheryl Sandberg, COO of Facebook, is inspirational and is another audiobook that should be listened to. In 2004, the late Sir Arthur C. Clarke was awarded the Robert A. Heinlein Award for outstanding published work in science, fact, or fiction, inspiring the human exploration of space. However, since he was unable to attend, the Heinlein Society contacted Apple USA to find a re reliable company in Sri Lanka to set up a direct conference link. BT Options was the only company able to establish the link using Apple technology, and the 90-minute live presentation was a great success. Appreciating our efforts, the president and the chairman of Heinlein Society, David Silver, wrote a letter of commendation to Apple CEO, Steve Jobs, and the board of directors, which said, our particular compliments and commendations to the one and only very excellent and resourceful partner in Sri Lanka, BT Options. BT Active is our fully equipped private gym that is for the staff. However, many have come specially to the gym seeking membership 
and thus we have given access to members. We are looking to expand, but we only invest in the cor correct location with the correct pricing. We have di diversified into leisure and have ventured into an area that many have never visited before. Arugambe in the East Coast is one of the most beautiful places in the country and is a tourist hub unknown to many. We have been visiting Arugambe since the early 1990s. The people are multicultural and able to speak Sinhala and Tamil, with many being conversant in English as well. They are genuine and welcoming. Potuwil is the last junction in Sri Lanka that branches off to Arugambe, Panama, and Whiskey Point. We simply love this area. While we attempted to start a project many times before, our dream came true on May 24, 2015, with the opening of Paper Moon Kudils in Whiskey Point, in partnership with P. Parthipan. The hotel was completed in 93 days. Hats off to the people and the construction workers from the area that ensured that the property was completed on time. The project was completed without any contractors. Arugambe Rocco's was opened on May 18, 2017 in partnership with A.M. Nalim. We thank Minister Sagala Ratnaika and our other guests for being present on that special occasion. A.M. Nalim has been in the tourism industry in Arugambe for more than three decades. But buildings that were on the property were completely demolished and Arugambe Rocco's was built according to a cube-inspired design to provide a unique experience to guests. The first location that we stayed in the 1990s is Tsunami, a name that was given to a property even before the term Tsunami was known in the country. A.M. Nalim is the owner and we shall be working him with him on this property as well for the next season. Both at Paper Moon Kudils and Arugambe Rocco's, the staff who are from the area have worked tirelessly, ensuring that guests are given unforgettable experiences. Arugambe is a unique location in the southeast of Sri Lanka. It is a place that provides wonderful experiences to guests because today's traveler is looking for that. Arugambe is not seasonal because there is so much to see and do. Our partners A.M. Nalim at Arugambe Rockos and P. Parthipan at Pape Moon Kudils are based there, together with the staff who are all from the area. They ensure the smooth operation of the properties. Paper Moon Kudils in Whiskey Point is in Urani, which is a Tamil area. Arugambe Rokos is in Ulla. It is a Muslim area. And Peanut Farm in Panama, which is also known as the Antimagama, is a Singhal area. Gune has been operating in Peanut Farm since the 1970s as a tourist property. His sons, Vijayavira, together with his brothers, Samaravira and Jayavira, are currently operating there. It was our plan to start a convertainer luxury property, including a swimming pool, solar power, eco-friendly environment, and provide, a lo provide livelihoods for the people in the area. The aim was to open in June this year. However, progress was hampered, and we hope to open the property next season. The natural sand dunes of Panama are ideal for sand safari, sim similar to that in the Middle East. What, what is also unique about this location is that you can see the ocean together with the endless sandy terrain. We wish to thank Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, Minister John Amratunga, Minister Sagala Ratnaika, Minister Vajrabe Vardhana, Mr. Paddy Vitana, and Mr. Kavan Ratnaika for their support to start the project in Peanut Farm. We are looking forward to opening the property at Peanut Farm next season as long as there is no disturbance from an unseen hand. P. Parthipan, A.M. Nalim, and the teams from Arugambe Rockos and Paper Moon Kudils, together with Gune and his sons, are here in the audience today. Corporates and investors should look at venturing into this area. There are many state and private-owned land to start projects. Large groups have started to open hotels in the area, and we request others to come to Arugambe as well, because everyone will benefit with increased business and opportunities. Visitors generally travel from one surfing point to the next by tuk-tuks, and since elephants freely roam in the area, they charge an elephant tax from the guests for their added risk. 
The names of the surfing points generally indicate the character of the area. Thus, Elephant Rock Point and Crocodile Rock Point reflect that these animals are frequent in those points. Furthermore, Whiskey Point is derived from the Tamil word for the swirl of the waves and the wind. We have been gradually able to change the mindset that Arugambe is seasonal by offering promotional rates. We see guests arriving even during months that have traditionally been considered as off-season. There is great potential in the area. With the government providing its support and encouragement to SMEs since the 2016 budget, we are hoping that a development bank will be presented in Sri Lanka so that companies such as ours can benefit. If everything goes as planned, we will be adding 60 more rooms from the next season. We would now like to thank those who have supported us since 1987. Our appreciation to all clients who have advertised in our publications and continue to have con confidence in us. Our revenue is only through advertising sales in our publications, and we do not offer contra agreements to any client. Those who advertise with us know that we always ensure good response and value for money. Venerable Galbodanani Sertero, Chief Incumbent of Ganga Ramya Temple, we thank you for your unwavering support and guidance throughout the years. Thank you for your presence here with us today. Venerable Udwe Dhamma Lokatero, we appreciate your presence and support to us over the years. Venerable Dia Patugam Revata Tero, we appreciate your continuous support, which has been one of the reasons of the success of our company. Venerable Kerinde Asadi Tero, we thank you for your encouragement and long-standing support to us. Minister John Namratunga, we thank you for your continuous support and always coming to our event. Minister Sagla Ratnaika, we thank you for being here with us today. Since, and you have been coming, uh, we have known you since the early 2000s. We appreciate your confidence and support given to us. We thank Minister um, Mangala Samravira, Minister Vajira Abe Bodhana and Minister Harin Fernando for their support. Ms. Sandra Pereira, Private Secretary to the Prime Minister, we wish to thank you for all your support and kindness. We also wish to thank Member of Parliament, Mr. Ravi Karuna Nayaka, for your continuous support. Tusta Hallolua and Ruan Ferdinandes for being with us, and we have known them for more than 20 years. We thank Mr. Hari Jayawardana for his continuous support and confidence in us even before we started business today. He has come for the event every year and has always shown his concern for us. Mr. Manilal Fernando, thank you for being with us over the years, especially during the difficult times in the 1990s. We thank Mr. Ajanta Seniviratna, CEO of POTV and Group CMO of Sri Lanka Telecom for insisting and persuading us to telecast the event live on POTV. We thank Mr. Niti Murugesu for his guidance and advice. Mr. Charles De Silva and Mr. A.S. Khalil for giving their properties to us and for their continuous support. The concept, design, and song selection for the event today was by Glenda Parthipan with the support of BT Options team. We congratulate the Business Today Top 30 2016-2017 for their excellent performance, and we hope that they continue to drive the economy with greater dynamism. We congratulate the Business Today Passionate for their great achievements and instilling a sense of pride in all Sri Lankans. We thank everyone for being present here today and making this event a success. Thank you.